Honey, is it showing? Honey, it's not showing. Okay, let me turn to the right. Turn it to the left. To the left? Just check it very well. It should be showing by now. Me, I'm not tired. What are you saying? Oh, honey, did you tell me you tell me? Mike, I have been begging you to buy Moplex HD TV decoder, but you refused. Moplex HD TV decoder is the most affordable and reliable decoder in the market right now. With just 10,000 Naira, you can buy it. Do you know you can also apply for Moplex HD TV decoder lease option with monthly payments of 1,000 Naira for 12 months? You can watch EPL, La Liga, Serie A, and all the league matches. You can watch the latest Dollywood, Bollywood, and Hollywood movies, including the telenovelas and the K-drum. Wooplex for us by yours. For school, let's get ready. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's get ready for school. Mm. It's two weekdays. Oh my god, I'm too tired of school. How can you be tired of learning? I'm tired of learning in this environment. Well, if you're tired, go and tell mom to keep to her promises. What promise? The promise of taking us to Manhattan this summer. You know what? Mom promises are beginning to sound like a broken record. But who knows? Let's ask her. She might have changed her mind. How I miss taking my son out baths. Mm. Is that the only thing you miss? I miss going to the China Fun Fest Center with friends like Maya, Alia and Bridget. Friends that take you to beautiful places, I mean. Do you know what I miss? What? what? I miss watching the wildlife from the Cape May World Watcher. You see, this is why we have to travel this summer. Exactly. Kids, are you ready for school? So what? I've been mean, asleep small. Mm. Sleep care. Uh, Touchy, wake up. You'll soon be late. So, Chi. Mm. Touchy, wake up now. Mm. 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 Come, you are coming. Story for the gods. Wake up. If I leave you here now, you, you wake up. You, you you sleep till 9.30. Wake up. Good morning, my angels. Oof, I see my girls already. Good morning. What's with the long faces? Zara? Wendy? Molly? I mean, what's wrong? No, you're fine. No, you're not fine. 
Because if you were fine, you'd have given me a big, big hug and loads of kisses. So, what's wrong? Can we just get to the point, Mum? Uh, what point is that exactly? The point where you say, come on girls, let's go have breakfast and get ready to leave for school. <sighs> Seriously, girls. I mean, if there's something going on, I need to know. If I have done something wrong, I also need to know so I can make amends. Stop whining, Mum. My sisters and I are fine. Okay, the food is on the diet. Let's go eat. Let's go, Wendy, and while we So what's with the long faces, girls? If I've heard in any way, why don't you just tell me so I can make amends? How am I supposed to concentrate at work when my girls are acting this way? Please, angels. What is it? Mom, we've been singing this holiday thing like a hymn and you refuse to listen to us. <laughs> oh, that? Yes. That. And let's hope this time around you don't push the topic to the corner. I have told you girls time and time again. I cannot afford a travel plan at the moment. I am mortgaged up to here and everything I have been making has been going into the new business. I am building. I cannot afford a travel plan. So you're saying it's lesson after lesson this holiday? <laughs> Obviously. No, mom. This is not good. This is a dire punishment to us. And this is the third time you're disappointing us. Every time you don't have money for it. But I... No buts, mom. We're just tired of your excuses. Our friends are going to laugh at us because we said we we're going to travel. And we're going to be there doing lessons with them. Even you, Wendy. Of course, mom. I stand with my sisters. This is not the life dad promised us. And this is not the life he made us believe in. So please, don't patronize us. Please eat your food. We'll talk about this later. I just feel like jumping into a lagoon. My classmates are going to laugh at me. Same here. They are already singing it into my ears. Barbara and Naomi said that their parents are taking them to say chills. And I told them we are going abroad. I don't want them to look down on me. Well, we have to travel this summer. If not, I am not going for that summer lesson. Me too. Me three. Why are you still standing here? Get into the car. I said get into the car. Ah. What are you doing? I'm doing my assignment. I'm checking if I'm doing my assignment. Mm. Mm. You know me, I did my own since yesterday at school. Mm. Good for you. Mm. Yeah. As we are going, I just pray they don't send us back home. Ah, why? You're asking me why? Mm. Have you paid for our school fees? Eh, whoa. It's true. Ah. Kai, but don't worry, don't worry. We'll just ask daddy to help us. I didn't think daddy has the money. He would have given us now. Uh, no, but let's just remind him. You never can tell. Hey. Yeah. No. Are you sure? Very sure. Okay. Oh, yeah, eat, 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 eat. Hey! <laughs> oh! There's no sugar! Ah! You even saw Gary and I'm talking about sugar. I'm fine, eh, Gary? I should be happy that there's even Gary. Eat, I manage. Oh. Ah, oh, yeah, sorry, sugar. sorry. Sorry now. Just eat. Mm -hmm. Just eat. Onion. <laughs> 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 
I said, yeah, how far now? Did you see the link I sent you on WhatsApp? This guy, check now, eh? Don't let me miss this deal, oh, guy. Check, check first. <laughs> send my own form, send my form. Eh? If I miss this thing, guy, if I see you on the road, I kill you. <laughs> check, check. <laughs> Ah, uh, where is Daddy? I don't see him in the room. Daddy, oh. Ah, ah, mm mm. Daddy, Daddy, why are you running? Eh? Nothing. Mm. Daddy, we saw you running. Anyways, we know that school fees that is chasing you, but you know we will not kill you because you don't have the money. Exactly. Ah, come on now, eh? Does it look like I'm trying to hide? <laughs> come on. <laughs> ah, daddy. Look, just be praying for your daddy. Hmm? Pray that Uncle Hyson helps me to pull this contract through. Once I sign the deal, I get the contract. I'm coming to your school. Mm. I'll pay your school fees. Okay, this Daddy. Term, next time, and the third term. Ah, ah. New school, new school, you do for new shoes, everything. Daddy, we do ah, that. Ah, ah, of course. Ah, we know what you can do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah, Lily, you going. Okay. Daddy, Daddy. It's my last cash. <laughs> eh? My last cash. <laughs> your smiley faces. Hey. Thank you. Thank you, Daddy. Your smiley Thank faces. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you Daddy. Bye bye. Thank you. So girls, beach on Saturday, are you game? <laughs> girls? So Molly, when is your class quiz? I guess at 3. Oh, what a coincidence. I have one too today. Same! I used to be a famous ballerina. Yeah. Same here. People like Abby Oak, Tamara Rojo, and Misty Copeland. Ah. Yeah. You didn't even mention Anna Pavlova. Eh. You know, she taught history in the whole world. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, we'll make history too now. I just pray that God gives our father money. Mm. You know, we have to register for the broker competition. Don't worry. I believe God will provide now. Don't you remember what Romans 5 verse 1 says? <laughs> okay, let me say it for you. Through him, we have access by faith into his grace in which we stand and rejoice in hope of glory of God. Exactly. Ah, you got it. <laughs> well, you know, you're not when serious. I'm just telling you, do all those bad verses very well. Squaddy! Uh-uh! Yeah, I'm not serious! Oh, girl, what are you doing? She's this now! Ah! Oh, God, look at my body! I want to go back! I want to go back! Oh, God! What rubbish is this? Ah! Let's just go. Let's go, I beg. This person, one day if I see you next time, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure Wicked I can't ah. What happened? Why is your body wet? Is it raining? What happened? <laughs> Can splashed water on us. <laughs> if only that you had car, we would be going through this nonsense. <laughs> and you don't have change of uniform, eh? No. Well, 
Go on, go on, go on, shower, go on, shower. Sorry, eh? Who's Molly? Hi girls. Oh, oh hi Martha. Martha, how are you? You must be waiting for your mom, right? Yeah, she should be here by now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We heard that your mom is getting married again. Yes, she's getting married to a rich man. We're even having the wedding in New York. Wow. wow. New really? York. Yeah. A few months ago, she didn't have an ECOWAS pass, but now she has a visa. Wow. And I have one too. Wow, you don't mean it. I mean every word I'm saying. She found a good luck charm in that man. He's willing to do anything for us. He even bought her a Jeep, and now we're traveling to like four countries this summer. Well, wow. well next year I'm relocating and I have to leave this school to you guys. Mm. But I'll be in touch. Be happy for me. Oh, you're happy. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Guys, I can't believe Martha wanted to mock us. Why would she mock us? I mean, she was just being happy. Everyone's entitled to happiness. But once she flaunts it in our faces, is she the only person that has traveled abroad? Haven't we gone out before? Since when? Since God knows how long. This is getting serious. I know we should do something about it. We have to travel this summer. But truthfully speaking, I don't think mom has enough money for that. Then she should get a man to do it for her. Mom is still beautiful after all. I don't understand what you're saying. Dad is no longer here with us. So, Mom can get a rich man to sponsor us. Ever since Dad left, things have gone from hot to cold. There were lives we lived that we no longer live. Zara, you have a point. I mean, Mom needs a man in her life. If Martha's ugly mom can get a rich man to sponsor their rich lifestyle, so can our mom. She can even get a man twice as richer than that man. Good, I second that. So, who will pass this message clearly to mom? Molly. No, it's not me, I beg. You know my result last time was bad, so I don't have to remind me of my woes. Guys, I have a plan. Now, one of the first few things you must learn in, in ballet is, is the five basic foot positions. Mm. Yeah? Five of them. Well, let's start with three, so we'll break it down as we go along. Yeah? That's one. Take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. Come on, come on, come on. Take your shoes off. So, that's one. Mm. That's two. Mm? And that's three. Yeah? Now, and then, you know, it goes on and on like that, but we'll, we'll break it in steps. Now, everything is based on how you position your foot on mm -hmm. the ground, yeah? Now, every ballet dancer must be flexible. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You must be flexible. And to att 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 attain maximum flexibility, be sure to stretch. Daddy, uh, mm, please, the whole theory, let's just, it's enough. Let's just continue with the practical tomorrow. Yes, daddy. But at the Boca Ballet competition, Knowing the theory is considered a plus. Uh, eh? I guess, I guess the practical is key. 
So are you ready for practical tomorrow? Yes, yeah, ever yeah. ready. You're not serious. <laughs> show me the food. Show me the food. The food step. Okay. okay. This is position show, one. Yeah, take your slippers off. Okay. Take your take your shoes off. Show me. This um, position one. Okay. Position two. Good. Position three. Mr. Mechi? Okay, uh, how was your day now? We thank God. Uh -huh. uh, so are you doing transfer or giving me cash? Eh, okay, okay. Mm. Month end. Eh? I say month end. No, I didn't hear you. You say? I say month end. I'm really hustling hard to, to, to make sure. Eh? Okay, okay. Okay, Mechi. Month end. Month end. Because of your children. Month end. Honestly, I'm really... Hungry. Mom, you know, food is not always the problem. Are you ill? What's wrong? Mom, I'm fine. So, when are we getting our new dad? <laughs> whatever that means. What do you mean by whatever that means? Because, Zara, I do not understand what you're implying. Mom. We've been around for so many years without a dad. Oh, are you not bothered that we're growing up too fast without a father figure or even a father in our lives? Ah, 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 young woman. I do not have the patience or the time to have this conversation right now. You will leave this kitchen. Else, I'll get upset with you. When you girls are hungry, you let me know. Food will be ready in about 30 minutes. Mom. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in my life. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done. 
In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord God, thank you for keeping us alive today. Thank you for providing for us and looking after us in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we pray that you bless our Father in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let him prosper in Jesus' name. Amen. You shall reward him for all the hard work that he has been doing for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall bless him for being strong and faithful and kind and loving to us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, his pocket shall never run dry in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You shall continue to protect him and look after him in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you for our lives. We thank you for today. Hey girls, mom is back and guess what? I bought you girls pizza and ice cream. It's on the dining, so let's go. Um, mom, we're not that hungry. Yes, mom. So, are you girls done with your assignments? I'm done. Same here. Okay, let's pack up our books. Zara, Molly, Wendy. Irrespective of my current situation, Father Lord, I thank you for the children you gave me. I know you are aware of what I am going through, but my Lord, I will continue to serve you, and I believe you will answer my prayers very soon. For Lake, those girls are serving me toads for supper. Honestly, they've been giving me the silent treatment and it's been killing me. What is exactly their crime? Because they need a father figure? My friend, I don't see anything out of place for children to ask for a father figure in their lives. That vacuum needs to be filled. Seriously, Falake, I am not going to woo a man. It's the other way around. What happened to dating sites? Eh? At my age? You know that's a recipe for disaster. And distraction at work. I'm not going to do that. I don't even need it. Oh, come off it, please. That's just an excuse. What does Migling have to do with age? Those kids are all you've got. Don't let them feel the pains of their father absence. This is going to be a tough one for me. If only you want it to be. I don't see anything tough in mingling with men that will kill to give you their last name. My friend, live for once, please. Ah, Tucci. Why are you crying? That's true. Why did she have to die, Onye? She was larger than life. Her death took a deep hole in me. <laughs> No. But don't worry. Don't cry. It's been three years now. I believe. I believe that she's resting in God's bosom. That is your birthday. What's happening? Why are you crying? Today is mom's posthumous birthday. do 
don't cry. Daddy. Why? Huh? I know the place. I know the place. I know the place. Yes. 10 a.m. Yes. Okay, ma. The call that I've been waiting for for two weeks. They just called me. They booked me for an interview. I, I'm going for it. <laughs> Yes. You show them we have something. Yeah. We have something. Yeah. 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 Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> this Douglas is so funny. Douglas. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> For your name is Douglas. <laughs> Girls. What? I saw her. So Mom is in love. Are you serious? Very serious. Well, this mm -hmm. is no child's play. Because I even saw her last night in the kitchen. She was talking to some guy named Douglas. Yes, this man is madly rich. She, he was telling her to pick from the highest paid restaurant she has in mind. Exactly. His name is Douglas. This guy might be very rich. I mean, he's asking our mom to pick the highest restaurant she wants. You're right. Before I call, this is what mom should have done a long time ago. Exactly. Girls. I think we should start packing our bags. Because this guy sounded very serious on the phone. We might be traveling this summer, girls. This Friday? Yes. yes. Hmm, <laughs> daddy, wow. daddy. See, you're looking so fine. Mm -hmm. oh, look at that. Fine pepper soup of the catfish style. Ah, you're getting my point. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't need to look hot. I just need to get the job so yeah, I can man. pay our bills. Ah. And we can all be happy. Huh? Daddy, you're yeah, right. You're getting my point. So we'll be able to pay our house rent and, and we'll be able to uh, register for that booker competition. Yes. <laughs> but don't worry. He already has the job. Amen. Daddy, oh dear, and conquer. Amen. 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 That's Amen. right. Daddy, you know, you used to sweat too much. Yeah, so, once you reach there, don't sweat too. I think that I'll just 
Onde está a cidade? Isso. 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 Ah, that's that's it. It. I was going to kneel down. No, no. That in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh Lord God, God of peace that surpasses understanding. As my dad is going for this interview, let him get the job in the mighty name of Amen. Jesus. Amen. Calm his anxiety and soothe his fears in Jesus' name. Amen. Let him see something special in him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And we shall pay him well in Jesus' name. Amen. He shall even be put in a higher position immediately in Jesus' name. For in Jesus' Amen. name I'm free. Amen. Amen. Bishop. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That good luck. I'll come back with good luck. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Daddy, remember, don't sweat too much. No problem. Enter police. So, Mom, where are you heading to? Hmm. Really? So you girls can drop the long faces and smile. I told you. I told you it won't be for long. Oh, Mom, it's just because we're happy. Did you girls win the lottery? Nope. But we know you're going on a date. But who goes on a date this early in the morning? Have you girls been snooping around my phones? No, Mom. It's all body language. And you read yours. The tantalizing calls. And the one million dollar smile. <sighs> I mean, should we even add that we know his name? Of course we do, Mr. Douglas. <gasps> how? How did you know? Well, we'll reserve that information for later when we're comfortable to talk about it. Exactly. So, so Mom, what does this Mr. Douglas do? Um. Um. Mom. Oh, well, he's, um, he's a neurosurgeon who's based in Switzerland. Wow, that's, that's really nice, Mom. So, Mom, go well. Yeah, and we give, give you our, our blessing. blessing. <laughs> Have, Have fun, fun, Mom. Bye. And give us the details later. Yes. The one billion dollars found. <laughs>
Will it be okay? Of course, it will be fine. Hey, it will be fine, okay? Who can help you today? So, madam, calm down. Hey, ask them if things have been like this when you put Sometimes they end up waking up the next day. Which next day? Madam, please wake him up now. You'll be fine. Please. You'll be fine, okay? You'll be fine. <laughs> Okay. Hello, Douglas. I'm sorry. I won't be able to make it. Something serious came up. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I'm so, so sorry. I'm sorry. Wendy. Hi, baby, how are you? How's the day going, Mom? I've got very bad news. Bad news? An accident. Good. What kind of bad luck is this? I wonder. Of all days today, the devil is a liar. This is really bad. I hope the man waits for her before she's even done in the hospital. We're talking about accident and you're here talking whether he's going to wait for her. Is he a robot? This is really bad luck. Let's just kiss our traveling plans goodbye. Molly, stop being so negative. I don't think it will get to that extent. Isn't it better if we go to the hospital? Who is going to take us there? We can call our former driver, Philip. He can take us. All right. Okay. Oh, breathe, breathe. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, as I was saying, what if daddy comes back and tells us the good news? Ah, I'll be very, very happy. If I said, I will even remind you to pay for that boca competition before the money finishes. Uh, but if we win the boca competition, what are we going to do with the money? Of course, we'll live a good life now. You know, go to a good school, get a, a family house, mm -hmm. and we'll help daddy start a business. Get my point. Mm -hmm. uh, after we finish paying our house rent, we also give small money to that that but not get the car. Mm -hmm. Ah. Is daddy calling? Is daddy? Maybe he's calling to tell us the good news. <laughs> Hello, daddy. What? Whoa! 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 What the whoa? Mas, is he awake now? I'm sorry, no. He's still unconscious. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yes. Please, we're looking for uh, Mr. Mitchell Kafu. Yes. Yes. I met you, Kafu. Yes. 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 Hold on a minute. Gosh, this must be the waiting room. Ah! That's only watch your step for passing. What's wrong with you that was at the doorway? Excuse you. How dare you touch my sister like that? Do you think I can slap you right now? Just talking. Let's go, let's go. Jeez. Let's go. 
Look at how they look, so smelly. They even look haggard. Please don't mind those blind people. Our priority is finding mom. Daddy, the devil is a liar. This cannot be true. Uh -uh. The, the doctor said he'll be fine. Just he just needs a lot of rest. Is it going to be okay? Yes, definitely. Wait, with time. Ma, who are you? I, I am Mrs. Lucinda. My um. My, my, my vehicle knocked him down. Eh? What? Oh, it, it wasn't intentional. Wait. What do you mean? What, what do you mean by it wasn't intentional? Do you know, do you know the pain he's feeling here? So you're telling me that I should calm down? Ma, <sighs> if any form of the fear happens to my father's body, I swear to God you will marry him. Sorry. Don't tell me to be sorry. You'll be more sorry if he doesn't wake up. Oh, Mom! Mom! I looked everywhere for you. Mom, you're looking very tired. Gosh. Mom, you look like a mess. We cannot allow that man to see you like this. Kids. Shaman is a real trouble. Oh, so this is the man that could not look properly before crossing the road. Gosh! Are you mad? Wait, oh. your brain is touch. Please! What is that gotcha language? And who do you people think you are? Uh, eh, eh, enough children. Eh, 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 eh. Madam, warn your children! Warn your children or else slap up to this girl! Eh. It's enough. You will regret it. It's, it's enough. Please. Stop! I just pray that nothing happens to my father. Sit. Sit. Your father will be fine. At least that's what the doctor said. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, the one who jammed him. Uh -huh. Let's pray that he will really be fine. Oh, oh shut up! up. You shut, shut up! up. Hmm? Shut you up! You'll we'll be blasting your sense. mouth like foul. I'm going to go to the no sense. You girls will need to calm down. No, Mom. We can't. This is unacceptable. I knocked him down, Zara. It's my cross. I need to bear it. But, like, can't you give them some money or something so they'll leave us alone? You think it's that easy? Obviously, it is not easy. How dare you talk to my mother like that? Is something wrong with you? Hey, 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 hey. Shut up. Shut up your mouth and sit down. Do you know who that man is? And why can't? That man is my father. No be only una we get mama o. We, we get papa. By the way, the nurse is asking for a deposit of 50,000 naira. Yes. That's fine, I'll handle it. Better. Kids, um, um, I'll be right back, okay? It's okay. This is completely rubbish. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Madam, money for upkeep. Also for good food and drugs.
I'm sorry, girls. It's fine, Mom. I mean, it's not your fault, but that poverty-stricken man who couldn't look well before crossing the road. Wendy, stop calling people poverty-stricken because you're better than them. Gosh, I feel so terrible right now. It's not your fault, Mom. It's his. It's me. It's my fault. Mom, so are you still going on the date with that rich man, Mr. Douglas? Molly, we're here talking about a serious matter and you're talking about going on a date and it's Douglas. You've already given them the money, right? So now we can concentrate on yourself and your date. It doesn't work like that. Anyhow it works, Mom. You still have to go on your date. Remember, we still need a father figure. you stepped up this morning to make our lives better. <laughs> I promise you. We're with you. Uh, Daddy. You're not in here. I don't know why bad things happen to good people. <laughs> Daddy, I, I know life is tough, but I promise that we'll go through this with you together. We love you, Daddy. Is not here yet. It's taking her long. Mom. Oh, mom. Yes, sir. Oh my. Ladies, I'm off. Mom, where are you going? I'm going to the hospital to see the accident victim. But you promised we'll go swimming today. I know, darlings. But the truth is. If I don't go to the hospital, it will look like I don't care. I, I really have to go. You know, it's an emergency. What are you, mom? You're not the Messiah or Mother Teresa. You're not even considering us. <sighs> Listen, my angels, this is my lot. I have to do this. Okay? We can go swimming next Saturday. Hmm? I promise. Okay? All right, see you later. Your food is in the microwave. So, Daddy, do you like the cake? It's okay. So, who is this woman you both have been talking about? Ah, Daddy, you see this lady? She's fair like what you do. But her children, they're very disrespectful. But, Daddy, you know us now. Hmm. We give them hot hops. I see. Hmm. I hope you didn't go about fighting anybody. Uh -uh. Because I didn't raise you that way. No, now, Daddy, we didn't fight them. If not for that small thing, we beating them oh, very course. well. Yeah. Daddy, you know This woman, you said she paid my medical bills? Before, Uncle, mm -hmm. this food that I see here, she brought the money for it. All these provisions. She's the one that brought the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hope you didn't have to tax her to bring this money. Daddy, if, uh, if, if we didn't tax her, how, how are we going to pay your hospital bill? Yeah. Oh, yeah. hi. Hi. Daddy, this is the woman that knocked you down. Yes. 
I, I did, and I'm sorry. Blame it all on me. Yeah, it's fine. It's, just, it's fine. Uh, uh, these are my daughters. I am. I, um, I'm Lucinda. Lucinda Ejiro. Uh, I meet your couple. It's nice to meet you, sir. even though it's not the best of situations. <laughs> I know, and, and, and I'm sorry I brought you to such a hospital. It was the quickest one we could get to. And, and the most important thing is that you, you're getting better. Yes. Uh, I'm getting better. Okay. So, how are you feeling? Well... You're fine now. So you discharged tomorrow. Ah, thank God. At least we can go to school now. Ah. I know, right? Where's Tochi? Uh, Tochi is in the house. She's sleeping. Have you girls been rehearsing? No. Daddy, what is the point of rehearsing? Why you are not in a good place? It's fine. Hmm? I wish this accident didn't happen in the first place. Stop lamenting already. I'm the one who's hurt. Yeah? And I'm fine. Daddy, I know what I'm saying. If that woman did not hit you, you would have been walking there. And today would have been the eighth day of walking there. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry, no time is too late. Okay? Daddy, that's not what you are saying. We have not even registered for the poker competition. What is the point of uh, what is the point of rehearsing? Yeah. Stop lamenting. Everything is fine. Okay? Daddy, everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Take it easy. Daddy, calm down, calm down. Mm. Oh, I'm Sorry. <laughs> uh, uh. What's this? Hi! Hey, Quick notice. notice! Jesus. Yeah. Daddy, we are coming. Daddy, we'll be right wait. back. Please wait. Ogalawa. Hey, Oga Mechi, how are you? Uh, wait on, sir. O o Oga, I see your message. O o Oga, pity me now. Nah. Oh, that one is because of my church mind that you saw the little ones I brought outside for you. My brother, if you don't pay me my money, the remaining properties inside the house will be sold. Ah. 
Kukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukukuk
We are human beings like you and I. And besides, he's only going to be here for a few days. So what's the problem? Mom, we want to know what they are doing in our house. I am rendering help to them. You know what happened? If not the accident, I'm sure their father would have been able to raise their rent. They threw them out of their homes because they couldn't raise the rent. You know this. And besides, I said just a few days. They're not going to stay with us forever. Wow, mom. Just wow. Is that what they told you to manipulate you into bringing them into our own house? Those people are dirty and they should not be near us. You girls need to learn to coexist with other people. Don't do that. I said a few days. Mom. There are strangers in our house and they need to go. Molly. I'm sure it's not that bad, right? Oh, it's very bad, Mom. Well, it's now safe to say that our own mother doesn't consider us as our children at heart. <sighs> Gosh! I wish I could call someone that could talk some sense into Mom before this thing gets out of hand. How does she expect us to stay with those strangers for a few days? Are you sure they have not bewitched her? Maybe you. Or should we call Auntie Folake so that she can talk some sense into mom? This is really getting out of hand. God. Now our plan of traveling this summer doesn't seem possible. God. Now that swollen headed master is going to laugh at us to scorn if we don't travel this year. I cannot face her. I cannot even face the whole school. Everyone needs a little kindness. Everyone needs a little love. Everyone needs some attention and not some crazy attitude. You see, the younger generation is the hope of every nation. To make the world a better place, we must show them the way. Teach them to love. Teach them respect. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doji. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Don't do what now? Look, look, look. It's morning already. Eh? You know where I saw your house? Can't be seen to be sleeping too long, eh? Wake up. Go and look for something to do. So they can retain us here. Daddy, we know. We, it's not easy to start doing drugs. I'm telling you, I'm going to sleep small. Come on, it doesn't matter. Go into the kitchen and look for plates to wash, or yeah? Don't you go and pick up a broom and sweep the living room. I'll see if the flowers need pruning. Get up, get up. Just do something, yeah? Good morning, Ma. Good morning, dear. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Did you sleep well? Yes, Ma, I slept well. Uh, Ma, why don't I help you with the plates? Um, why you concentrate on your cooking? Oh, oh, no, no, never mind. It's fine. You can go inside. No, Ma, I insist. I won't allow my elder wash the plates while the kids are around. <laughs> what class are you in? Well, I'm in Genesis 3. Why my sister is in Genesis 2? What school? Uh, well, I school at Noble Girls High School, close to um, Legacy Road. Oh, Legacy yes, Road. The yes. one close to the bakery. Yes. Exactly. Ah, Ma, that is where we do our, at the back of that um, bakery, that is where we do our ballet rehearsals. You dance ballet? <laughs> yes, Ma. Um, my dad is a teacher. He teaches us how to dance ballet. But we are also going for the Boca competition. That is why we are rehearsing. Trust him. Yes, ma. Okay, like I said, go inside, go take a shower, and get ready. Food will be ready soon, okay? No, ma. I insist. You see, the younger generation is the hope of every nation. To make the world a better place, we must show them the way. Teach them to love, teach them respect. Let them know that everybody has a place. Yeah. Yeah. Life.
life is a mystery oh, yes. And we never know tomorrow If it no better today But tomorrow is a Eh, hey, so they've already called you to gossip, eh? Lucinda, for all that it is what, you shouldn't make your children uncomfortable all because of some silly strangers. But these people are not harmless, and... But they are charity case. I'm just trying to render my help to them. At your own daughter's detriment? Couldn't you have put them in a hotel? Hmm. Till when? I tried my best. I mean, I tried to get them a service apartment. I, I, I couldn't. Can you even believe the hotel said they wouldn't allow more than one person in the hotel room? I tried. I, I couldn't. Girlfriend, you are not a mortar. You better use your tongue to count your teeth. I've heard you. They will leave by the weekend. I'll see you later. Bye. Wait, don't tell me what I think is happening here. I was about to say the same more. Really? You expect us to eat with these peasants? Wendy! Never, mom. This is the height of it. How do you expect us to eat with these people? Now I know you don't love us anymore. Hey! Come again. Now all three of you will quietly sit and have your meal. And you will behave like children that I have trained properly. Do you understand me? You will not speak to people in that manner. Mom, now sit! Don't let me repeat myself again. Everyone needs a little kindness. Everyone needs a little love. Everyone needs some attention. And not some crazy attitude. Serve your drink. See the younger generation is the hope of every nation to make the world a better place. We must show them the way. Teach them to love. Teach them respect. Let them know that everybody has a place. Yeah. Life is a mystery. Oh, yes. And we never know tomorrow. If it no better today, but tomorrow is another day. Oh, na 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 na. Oh, hi, Amechi. <laughs> oh. Welcome. Sorry, I took up space in the kitchen. I, I just thought to help around. Oh, you can cook. I mean, yeah. <laughs> since I was eight years old. Impressive. <laughs> I mean. Uh, when my wife was alive, I mean, we used to share these chores. Oh, she's dead. <sighs> Thyroid cancer. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. It's fine. We still can't question God. Absolutely. Um, you know, I like your kids. <laughs> They're very smart, considerate, intelligent, you know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and yours too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you have your reservations about them, so. Um, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're all kids. They just need time to understand the complexities of life. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so too. Okay. okay, so I'll leave you to it then. How do you like your beans? Oh, just bring the water to boil, remove the debris from the top, and we're good to go. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Madam, um, sorry. I, I know my children and I are inconveniencing you in your space. But we'll definitely leave by the end of this week. It's okay. Thank you so much already for everything. It's fine. Why are they doing this to me? No, 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 it's like they're trying to... Both of you!
of you should wash these clothes. I'll make sure they are very clean. E excuse you. Sorry, I don't understand. What do you mean by we should wash your clothes? I don't understand. What did you get? What were you expecting? You already stay here with your father. You eat our mother's food. And you already stay here when free. I mean, wait, take for example. Are you not enjoying this air conditioning that's here? My brain, the least you can do is be grateful to us and our mother and wash our clothes. Exactly. You don't understand. Get up! I have told you girls, time and time again, that's no way to talk to visitors. You have to be careful how you speak to people. Those are kids like you, like you, you and you. Your words can be harmful. They're very harmful and can instill harmful thoughts in them. I told you they're leaving already and they'll leave. I hope you're all happy now. Raise your hands before I... You talk to people like you're not trained. And you let others insult your mother. Is that good? They call us beggars. I've heard this word a million times. First of all, our teacher called us beggars because we could not pay our school fees. <laughs> Mr. Lawal, the landlord, called us beggars because, because we couldn't pay our rent. And now we come here to take insults from our mates. Simply because of our, of our current situation. But daddy, seriously, let, let me just ask you that do we have a brighter future? No, seriously, do we? Are we going to be called beggars forever? Everyone needs a little kindness. Everyone needs a little love. Everyone needs some attention. And not some crazy attitude You see the younger generation Is the hope of every nation To make the world a better place We must show them the way Teach them to love Teach them respect Why the long faces now? Huh? This is one. By the way, we have rehearsals later today. So you need to go and prepare. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> wow. Sorry, sorry, you sorry. Well. <laughs> like... Wash, give me the soap. <laughs> <laughs>
You are so talented. My body can't even bend like that. You know, I like ballet a lot too. But I can't join them because of one thing. You know, I can't really remember the last time I spent time with mom, but these kids are really talented. Wow. What now? Mom, why is it that those local girls have good talents and we don't? Let me tell you something, my darling daughters. A talent is a natural aptitude or a skill. You will need to harness that talent of yours, hone it, and you can see results. Guess what? You can actually make money with your talents, do you know? But I like ballet a lot, Mom. Really? Since when? Or because you saw Oye and Tochi dancing ballet, all of a sudden you like ballet too? But, but mom, what, what can they do that I can't do better? A lot, my darling daughters. A mom, lot. Mom, don't tell me you're starting to like those local girls. Of course not. You are my precious girls. However, I don't hate them. They're good girls. So mom, are you not saying we're bad girls? My darling Molly, I haven't said that. I don't want you putting words in my mouth, okay? We just want to know when they're leaving our house. It, the weekend has gone by already. Well, tomorrow is here already. Can you stop whining? Thank you very much. And I'm sure you have homework to do. Hmm? Hmm? Right? To your room. Now, now, now. Off you go, off you go. Go, 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 go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, young ladies. Bye-bye. Everybody has a place, yeah. Yeah. life is a... Babe, Babe, you look utter by the day. <laughs> I beg, the way I'm breaking out like this, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. I, beg. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> How's the young friend? Well, I can't complain. So. Sorry, leave me. I just want to get something. Who is that guy? Oh, no, he's not a guy. He's a man. He's the father of those girls you saw in the kitchen. My whole is... The guy is so cute. He doesn't look older than 28. Does he have a wife? No, he's a widower, but why are you asking? Babe, you live with this kind of man and you still go out for, for a date. These are the kind of guys that clean our cobwebs during our matter. A man that I'm providing shelter for. Doesn't matter. A man is a man. You don't expect me to think like you or reason like you. I mean, you're single. I'm not. And I am a mother. Oh, please. Don't tell me you're still holding on to that your stupid ex husband that almost wrecked your life. Tony, of course not. That's. Dawn, dusted, and forgotten. I beg, just me, Jerry. Leave you. You don't even use your eye to see my That's the problem. You don't see the chest.
girls. Yes, daddy. yes, daddy. We'll be leaving here this weekend. We're going to Uncle Hyson's house. Aww. He said we should come. He has a room for us in his backyard where we can stay for a moment. No, daddy, no, please. What about that his wicked wife? I don't want that to remind us of our history. You know she has a bad attitude. Yes, Daddy. I, I don't want to go and out. Don't you? I won't come to that now, eh? Mm. And besides, girls, we are really helpless right now. We have to manage people's behavior. Mm. Huh? Daddy, Please. Daddy, I don't want to go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we don't have a choice. Hey. Mitch, what are you doing? Uh, Again? <laughs> no, it's just... I have this special... Sorry, so... can I help you? Oh, no, just mm -hmm. go back and rest. The food will soon be ready. <clears throat> and besides, um, we leave tomorrow, so... I just thought to, you know, cook up something. <laughs> you know, I'm not chasing you away. I mean, we're, we're tired of inconveniencing you and your family. Besides, we've stayed past the 12 days that we agreed, so... And you can stay longer. I like your vibe. Your children's vibe as well. And the house is massive. So, I ask again, can I help you? Uh, okay, well, you can help me taste my cooking. <laughs> no, I'm going to do this. <laughs> All right. Can I, um... Can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure. Um, since your wife passed, have you been with anyone? Like, have you tried dating or mingling? No. <laughs> <laughs> Does that mean you haven't gotten over your wife's death? Oh, no, no, it's, it's, it's not like that's just a man has got too much on his plate to even have time to meditate on thoughts like that, you know. <clears throat> and don't you think you're missing something? Something like what?
Um, Molly, do you have any current affairs book? No, I left it in school. How do you expect me to know the answer to this question? I mean, who knows the answer? Like, who is the first lady of Lagos State? You can browse it on the internet. My network is poor. I'll be asking at home. Um, if the question is hard, I think I can help. Okay, let me get to the point. The first lady of Lagos State is Dr. Mrs. Ibijoke Songwulu. Did you browse it? No. I have it all fed now. It's in my head. I know a lot about current affairs. Um, but if you are, if, if you want me to answer another question, I can tell you. No, I'm um, okay. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Wow, that's interesting. I mean, they know how to dance, they know how to sing, they even know their books. It's like they know everything in this world. It's like you know a lot about all this kitchen stuff. Uh, yeah, I can make um, stuff like a goosey soup, a fang soup, fried rice, jello fries. Wow. And stuff. Uh, I can see. No, no, no. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. What two lessons has this story taught us? I am worried sick. This poker competition is drawing closer. And we are yet to register. Ooh. I am losing hope. It's true. Ah, you are right. Oh. And I know daddy has less or nothing to pay for that registration fee. But Omni, I was thinking. What are you thinking? I, I was thinking that. Let me, let's go and meet Auntie Lucinda so that we can ask now whether she can help us. Ah, no. Huh. I'm not sure Daddy will agree to this idea. Uh, you know Daddy has pride. He would rather he would rather lose an opportunity than to beg. But don't worry. Let me be the one to approach her and let me ask whether she can help us. Let's do that one. Yes. Let's try it. Hmm? Let's try it. Absolutely nothing. In fact, I was upset because it should have come to me sooner. Imagine if they had missed this opportunity. All because of what? Money? I would have been very upset because everything would have been in vain. You know, the struggle, the rehearsals, everything. Thank God that did not happen. <laughs> because God brought you our way. <laughs> it's absolutely nothing. This, this means a lot to me. <laughs> Can I give you a hug? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
cheer you, mom. So this is the exact reason you brought those poor people to our house, so you could have your personal living lover. But I can explain. Explain what, mom? That you brought strangers into our house only for one of them to turn out to be your lover. How low can you stoop, mom? Mom, this is not nice. I mean, this is really not nice. And to think that you cancelled your day with Mr. Douglas to, to just kiss this poor man. What? What? Yes! You heard her right. Your gold-digging, smelling father was seen kissing my mom. God forbid, my mother will never have anything to do with you miserable church rats. Daddy, why? You said that no woman would ever take mommy's place. And we've barely stayed a month here. It's not what true. It's true. Please, save your drama for later. Go and pack your things and leave our house. Gold diggers and beggars. Like father, like daughter. Eh, 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 eh. Don't you dare insult my father. And what will you do? What will you do? Watch me beat you blue-black. Of course! Of course you support your father because you are as miserable as him. Look how wretched you look. Yet one more time open your mouth to insult my daughters, I will spank you so hard, you will get the home training that you ah, lack. Are you trying to take a jab at me? Are you trying to tell the world that I haven't trained my daughters? Hear them. Hmm. Coming from a man who doesn't have a roof over his head. Will you shut up? Hey, please! Don't shut her up like that! Do you know what? I am even dumb. I am tired. Is this a thank you that I get for putting a roof over your head? Please go in there, pack your things and leave my house. Are you deaf? You heard her! Get out of this Will you shut up? Get out there! Quiet! Mom, mom, they better leave now. This house is not for them. Oh na 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 If you live in a house made of glass, yeah. No need to play with stone. See not true what they tell you so. No matter the level or the class, yeah. There's no difference. Everybody needs some love. Teach them to love. Teach them to love. Teach them respect. Teach them respect. Let them know that everybody has a place. Yeah, yeah. Life is a mystery. And you never know tomorrow. Oh no. If it no better today. But tomorrow is another day. Teach them to love. Teach them to love. Teach them respect. Teach them respect. Let them know that everybody has a place. Life is a mystery. And we never know tomorrow. We never know tomorrow. If it no better today. But tomorrow is another day. Oh na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 The Boca competition, it's on Friday. How are we going to get to Abuja? By road. I will hustle for your transport money. Girls, I may not have given you the best as a father, but you see this Boca competition, you won't miss it. I will do something. Even if it means starting from here, eh? I will help these guys out. Relax. Everyone needs a little Look, you won't miss it. Don't worry. Everyone needs a little love. 
Everyone needs some attention and not some crazy attitude. You see, the younger generation is the hope of every nation to make the world a better place. We must show them the way, teach them to love, teach them respect. Let them know that everybody has a place. Yeah. Yeah. Life, Life is a mystery. mystery. Oh, yes. And we never know tomorrow. tomorrow. If it's not better today, but tomorrow is another day. Oh, na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh na 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 na. If you live in a house made of glass, yeah. No need to play with stone. See now, true, I dey tell you so. No matter the level or the class, yeah. There's no difference. Everybody needs some love. Teach them to love. Teach them to love. Teach them respect. Teach them respect. Let them know that everybody has a place. Yeah, yeah. Life is a mystery, and you never know tomorrow. Oh no. If it's no better today, but tomorrow is another day. Teach them to love. Teach them to love. Teach them respect. Teach them respect. Let them know that everybody has a place. Life is a mystery, and we never know tomorrow. We never know tomorrow. Today is the day that you have been waiting for, the final stage of the Boca competition. And you already know, you already know, the winner goes home with a whooping sum of 10 million Naira and a fully furnished apartment in the metropolitan city of Lagos. So who's going to be the winner? Who, who, who's going to be? We have seen performances from different contestants. And coming up next is the Okafo sisters. Give it up, give it up, yeah! Intelligent children. I really envy them. Thank you. I'm really happy for them. We shouldn't have treated them the way we did. I regret my actions. You know, I wish to be like them. And the winner of the 2021 Boca competition is the Okafo Sisters! Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.
forgetting something. What is it? What? Auntie Lucinda, she gave us the registration fee and many could not afford it. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Remember she once made us comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh, my smart girls. True talk. <laughs> Let's do it. Teach them to love. Teach them respect. So girls, come in. Come in. <laughs> come in, guys. Um... You know, I really love your outfits, though. Thank you. By Thank the way, congratulations. We're proud of you. And we want to show you something. Come on. Okay. Hey, go. congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Let's go, girl. Okay. Sorry. I'll, I'll get you a drink. Hey. I missed you. I, I missed you too. But, but you know, with my children's wahala, I was confused. I, I didn't know if you truly loved me or if it was just Shh. gratitude. I truly love you. And I want to assure you. But what I feel is genuine. Come on, I already want to. Um, Uncle Amichi, I really like your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let, let's go. <laughs> Yes. Love 